الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم How are you doing? Okay, how about good, you? Good, good. Since you're an expert in the Bible, I had an interesting verse uh, I was looking at. Actually, yeah. So, Jesus, when he goes to the fig tree, right? And he's not sure if it has fruit, right? So here it is, right? Mark 11, 12 and 13. Now he was hungry, meaning God was hungry. No, I means Jesus is hungry. So is Jesus God here? We talked about this before. Right, but the two okay. manifestations of Jesus is divine nature and human nature. So on Earth, is this? Are these two natures together? Not simultaneously, never. Not simultaneously. No. So Jesus see. on Earth could was not fully God and fully man. That's not what I said. Okay, so at the time on Earth, he was God. Divine nature, part-time human nature, even even the same day, but not simultaneously, not at the same time. Because so, at some times he was fully God, and at some times he was fully man, while on Earth. Yes. Interesting, because other Christians told us that he was fully God and fully man at the same time. Well, they're wrong. Not they're wrong. wrong. Okay, gotcha. So all those Christians that say Jesus was at the same time fully man and fully God are wrong. The average Christian doesn't know very much about the Bible. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, good, good point. Okay, and seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps it, he would find something on it. So here Jesus saw a tree with leaves, but he didn't know if it had fruit or not. And there was the season for fruit. Right, so that means he's not God here. Because God would obviously know if there's fruit yeah, in a tree. That's right. Okay. Um, when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. So here, Jesus is not God at this time. At that very moment, no. Okay, good. That, that's just what I wanted to understand. Okay. How are you doing? Yeah, that was my question. Okay. Thank you. You have a Quran already? Say what? You have a Quran? No. Please feel free to take one. Oh, you're kidding. No, it's free. Um, there are many translations, but the context of the Quran would be the same, right? Yeah. Same chapter, same verses. You know, like the Bible has so many translations. And it's well, from well that, that's a difference because that's not just a, like this is a King James version, yeah. and this is the new uh, NASB. You're going to have verses that are different, right? Yeah. That's not the way Quran works. Oh, really? Every Quran will begin with a chapter called Surah Al Fatiha. And it will end with a chapter called Surah Al Nas, and it will have 114 chapters, every one of them, right? The difference here is going to be the use of language. So when you translate in the old English, like Pictal, it would be something like die, know what's what, die, do what, and go with, right? But this is modern English now, right? Okay, so you write your name here and dedicate it to me. I'll I will. My library. Excellent. What's your name? Paul. Paul. Ramadan. Ramadan. With my friend from Bangladesh. Oh, nice. It was there in El Cajon. It was very nice. There you are. And your name? Osman, right here. Oh, okay, mashallah. How's Minnesota? It's, it's going good. Um, All the snow finally melted, and it's finally warm weather now, so just mashallah. enjoying it. Mashallah. So let's uh, tell us a little bit about your journey with Islam. Man. Um, it's been a long one. Um, I've always been interested in religion, and... Yeah. um. I've always had a lot of questions about it. And um, growing up, 
I, I went to a lot of Southern churches where it was, you know, like I said earlier, the gospel and like yeah. a concert, you know, um, but like um, I've always questioned a lot of things with Christianity, you know, yeah. um, with, um, with all the stuff in the, the Bible and I, I could never really fully um, accept everything from the Bible, you know, so um, my dad was once in the uh, Mission of Islam mm. when he was young. And uh, my dad, uh, he left shortly after. And my dad tried to um, introduce me to Islam, but I, I was really young and, you know, didn't mm. um, understand it as much. But um, um, last year, my dad passed on May 9th mm. and um, I had a Quran by his head. Um, and um when he passed i was kind of looking for you know god's um like i was i was trying to seek god you know, to help me through Guidance, the grieving yeah. process yeah um, i was i was reading the bible and then um i just never uh, really um I, I just couldn't really fully um accept it so i i picked up my dad's quran and I started reading it, and, um, everything that I believed in, and everything I would really um, question the, the Bible about, everything made sense, and it matched mm -hmm. with um, Islam. So um, I started reading it, and um, I just, you know, I've, um, Islam was the first, the first religion that made me want to fully, you know, convert and fully practice the teachings of it and stuff. So um Alhamdulillah. since um i think i, I read the shahada by myself like last september there you are so can you hear me there you go yeah all yes right. sir all right let's uh oh. let's do your shahada first man so we want to make sure you before we cut out or something. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, Alhamdulillah, you're ready. You already know about Islam. You know about the prayer and anything else you need to learn. Inshallah, we'll, we'll go over it with you. I mean, that's one of the beautiful things about Islam is the beautiful, pure, monotheistic belief, you know. It's something that makes yes. sense, like you said. I mean, I grew up going to churches, different types of churches, and reading the Bible and a lot of it just didn't make sense. How could God not know if there's fruit on a tree? How could God not be our? How could God want to take this cup away from me and pray to another God and call him my father? So, alhamdulillah, Islam, Tawheed, beautiful. One creator sent all the prophets, same message. Believe in Allah. Believe in the prophet of your time. Follow the prophet of your time. Way to success. Easy. <laughs> so, let's do this, inshallah. English first or Arabic first? Uh, I'm Arabic. All right. I like it. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammada. Muhammada. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluh. Allahu Akbar. That's it. You're Allah. busted, man. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is a servant. Is a servant. And messenger of Allah. And messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, greatest day of your life, alhamdulillah, you are set on a new path, and inshallah, my son Yusuf, you're touched with him already, he'll be in touch yes. with you, he'll send you some videos, to learn how to pray, and how to fast, and how to do the wudu, how to do the evolution, any questions you have, hit him up, he's there as a resource for you, you got a lot of Muslims in Minnesota, mashallah, uh, what city are you around, are you... I'm in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Um, I've never been able to go to a mosque or uh, or anything, and um, I've been trying to look and find one to go to. Um, a lot of them are like three hours away from me, so I've mm. 
I've done don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll find you some Muslims in your community, inshallah. Just keep up with my son. And if nothing else, I mean, you always got us. We're your brothers. And alhamdulillah, you have two billion brothers and sisters around the world. You're part of the ummah. Your past sins have been wiped out, clean, turned into good deeds. So alhamdulillah, you're better than me. <laughs> I got to deal with my sins. You're, you're a brand new start. So, alhamdulillah. And uh, just the most important thing is stick with it, you know. You gotta, you're going to go through rough times, ups and downs, shaitan and this and that. But once you know the truth, that's it. I mean, you got to keep going with it, you know. Uh, yes. Inshallah, I'll have my son call you a little bit later today to kind of talk about prayer and all that stuff. You know, explain some of the rulings, send you some of the videos. But the, the most important thing is today you have accomplished something great. You have come back to the purpose of your creation. Money, jobs, wealth, all of that comes and goes in life, you know. But Allah tells us in the Quran that Ma khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa liya'budun. I did not create the jinn or mankind except to worship me. So the first thing and the most important purpose of your creation is to recognize your creator and to worship him. And you have taken that step. So it's a blessed day. Alhamdulillah, it's been a pleasure. Inshallah, we'll be in touch. Yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, I've been watching videos um like um a lot since um Alhamdulillah. Late year. And, um I learned a lot um about Islam from watching videos and um um I want to say thank you for um r really guiding me to uh you know believe and to um you know know the truth about the um real um um like I. I, I feel like you know Islam has gave me a uh, discipline and um gave me a purpose. Um, May Allah Islam. bless you and reward you and bless all those brothers and sisters that work behind the scenes to spread their videos and clips and shorts and all of that. Uh, it becomes a means of guidance, like you. I mean, Subhanallah, you don't have Muslims around you, but Allah made a means of guidance for you for the videos. And Alhamdulillah. And I want to yes. thank you, alhamdulillah, for giving me this opportunity to be this guide for you. Guidance is from Allah. I'm just a means, you know. So we thank yes. Allah and uh, inshallah we'll be in touch. So uh, yes. really, uh, I think this should be a big encouragement for everybody else who also works on the videos and passes them out because they see the fruits of it. So jazakallah yes. khair and salamu alaikum. إذا أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن